So hey guys, welcome to season two of the Sanskari Talks, where my first guest is a person who doesn't need any introduction. She is favorite of everybody. She is heart of our college. She is uh, not just an assistant professor of our college. Also, she is a dedicated yoga trainer. Priya ma'am. <laughs> Priya ma'am is a total movie buff. She's not just our favorite lecturer. She's everyone's favorite person. We cannot contain our excitement, excitement, fam. And we are so glad it's with you, our first post- podcast of the season. Too. Thank you. How are you, ma'am? I am good. Tell me, how are you both? We are so glad we that we are like. It is with you, ma'am. Even I am excited to just know about this. Ki Sanskari talk season two is going to start, and that too, I am being the first guest is definitely. I could tell of it's course, my honor to be a part of this. Thank you, Sanskari. You look so pretty, ma'am. Thank you. I just want to know from where that saree you got it. Okay, there is a small story because it's a I know, yeah, because it no looked like a, some kind of a old fashioned saree. I can exactly. say because uh, it is like some thirty three years old saree because my mother wore this saree when like after her marriage there will be first mm. puja in the in laws place right and yeah. that time she wore this saree and that's how it is very connected to me. Uh, even though the blouse is like mix and match, but still I felt so like today I will be wearing this because it's sanskari talk so. Being so sanskari in the sari. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yes, Leva. I'm glad to hear this. So, ma'am, uh, we have many questions to ask. The audience mm-hmm. is waiting, and I'm just. I felt my life questions. is very much open book, but now I feel like okay, I have to answer so many questions. So okay. many. Ma'am. Okay. Today, I think we need to read till the last page. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we cannot just skip, uh, skip any pages. Ma'am, well, many of them, like apart from being a. Being uh, a teacher, assistant professor in Goa Academy, they would like to know about how Priya Ma'am is like. Why did you choose teaching line? Then I heard that you are about to being like you are preparing for an IAS. Yeah. You are an, you are a IAS uh, aspirant earlier. Like, then why did you change your profession from IAS to a teacher? Yeah. So right now, I think now to Priya Ma'am के बारे में ना you all going to know about Priya yeah. only. Yes. Yeah. So firstly, uh, all will have a like uh, kind of a career turning point, right? Where parents will be back of us to decide what do you want to become and all that. From schooling days, uh, my dad never used to ask me or never my parents make me feel like you have to decide what you want to become and all that. They always thought that it's her choice. And to be very frank, I was very average student in my school days. Uh, I think so till tenth class. I was like that only tenth me. I was like definitely tenth, tenth, tenth. This pressure was definitely there on me. Uh, I used to have a tuition teachers at home. All that hangama used to happen. All that whole academic year. I used to enjoy also, but still, uh, as she just introduced me, I'm a movie buff. So never I'll miss the chance of watching any movie. In spite having tomorrow tenth board exam, also okay. I used to watch a movies, but. Somewhere that pressure, though definitely we will have because it's a tenth board exam. And after that, one turning point would be that. Your choice is going to start from then, because till tenth it is like something academic, school-wise, all subjects you all are learning. You will also learn the same thing. There is nothing like your choice. From intermediate level, you will have your own choice of choosing whether you want to go get into science background or going to commerce background or arts or whatever you want to choose into. And that is the phase. Uh, one small thing is in my school days, I used to study with my cousin. Okay. Uh, we both were in the same school because mm-hmm. we both are like same age. And uh, once we uh, finished our tenth class, we both had a choice now. What are we going to get along mm-hmm. with? And she is very good at science, so she wanted to get into engineering side. So definitely she will take MPC. And uh, now my thought is, science is something like not a cup of tea for me definitely because physics, like chemistry, of, uh, coffee, you okay, like green tea, <laughs> uh, yes. being so healthy conscious. So yeah. so it's not my cup of green tea. Uh, Uh, science used to definitely go above my head. Physics, chemistry were not at all like uh, it was like always. I used to mug up the answers, chemistry ki equations, ho, all the experiments, everything. I used to mug up always physics and chemistry. But yeah, I got in tenth like eighty six marks in the science. That is very good. So my dad started telling me that time, oh no, you scored very well in your science max. No, you also take MPC. See that time, parents will have little influence also from the other relatives because uh, MPC is something like MPC, BPC. the very common courses yeah. where parents will force the kids to take up so he was like uh, okay your cousin is doing you also get along with her 
go for mpc okay you don't write uh, msat and all that hmm. don't go for the engineering side but you take mpc because mpc with msat without msat two options you will have in the college so i was like no then maybe the first time i took a decision for myself i felt after my 10th class that is 2008 8. Okay, 2008. Once May 15th, I got my results. Okay. And May 17th, only I took a decision that no, I am not going to follow because someone is taking that course and is very commonly taken. Why? I am not interested in science subjects. How I got that marks, I know. The 86 marks are like as a ratta mara. So, pada, I have put down the paper. But that's no, the no, only thing happened. So, I took MEC, that is Maths, Economics, and Commerce. So, that was my interest at uh, to get into the intermediate with MEC course. and then my dad asked me okay you took your choice like mec group not mpc so something you have in your mind now what you want to become and one thing my dad used to always tell because i i mean as a movie buff also and i used to follow politics i used to watch news a lot with my dad because my dad is something 9 o'clock hote was news channel dalo we have to know about the society and all that he used to always keep that in my mind you should know about what is happening in your surrounding and read newspapers all this habit he used to inculcate in me from childhood hmm. and then he asked me and one of my aunt is an ias officer mm-hmm. and uh, now she is uh, working for ghmc okay. she is a commissioner for that so my dad told me always he used to indirectly tell me about her stories like she struggled a lot and she became an ias so somewhere i felt okay something administrative officer is something great okay that time i didn't understand what the role you have to play in the society with that job true, true. but i felt that you are going to create definitely a change in that and if you pass that definitely people will respect you and that kind of uh, uh, full on uh, pamperedness you will get there also because the car driver all this government officials will be in front yeah. of you so maybe that aspect my felt okay i will go for ias thing mm-hmm. so i have decided from my intermediate level only that i want to become an ias so inter ho gaya normally i didn't prepare anything for ias from them it was a normal intermediate girl i was i used to go college have fun and all then degree degree i did bcom mm-hmm. uske baad and degree ke baad then i felt one day really fought with my dad ki i am clear about my ias you said you also like uh, encouraged me to become an ias officer but i am not doing anything for my i being ias right i am just being a normal student going for inter degree and all that regular stuff then my dad like okay what do you want to do now i said i have to start preparing i have to know how the subjects are but my dad was like smiling that time because i was only 19 years old yeah man and my dad was like uh you are just 19 now because 21 years you have to complete to write your civils exam civil prelims yeah. so he was like now what i said it's fine i should know the subjects and all that right so i will join the uh, ias coaching and i joined my coaching when i was doing my mcom that is pg pg uh, i used to attend in the morning that used to be my hectic years of my life because morning 8:30 i used to travel from my dilshanagar to abits mm. to go for my mcom Stanley College, so I used to start by 8:30 and college attend kia, and I used to take one hour break uh, in the college itself, and I used to travel to Domalguda, or I can say Himayat Nagar side only, and I used to go for R C Reddy Institute for having a coaching there for I S, and till 8:30 in the night I used to be in the coaching center. and i used to come back home to the dilshan nagar by 10:30 or 11 in the night mm-hmm. so it was used to be the busiest days koi bhi phone kara tha i can tell very proudly i'm busy busy i'm in the class i'm in the class i can't talk to you people so that 11 months of my coaching went very well definitely i will not regret on anything of that ki why did i yeah, yeah that little pinch you will have that i put on so much of fees i paid for ias coaching but today i'm not an ias but still i cherish the 11 months of coaching what i have taken because that gave me that confidence to talk anywhere and at least i am aware of few things hmm. where i can actually talk maybe with not at all with no, uh, deep knowledge or depth in that but still i can talk about everything because ias coaching is something you are learning everything again like social science ethics max history everything everything will cover in that so all that 11 months had definitely affect on me and like a very good impact i can say but why i didn't continue that because i gave my prelims attempt also i cleared but later means i couldn't and then i felt uh, somewhere at the time of this coaching only one thing i realized ki jaise maine bataya ki every subject i have to go through again in the mm. general studies paper also yeah. in the coaching that time i felt jo subjects ko i left in the school which i used to hate physics chemistry again okay. i am preparing for that <laughs> i was like no this is not something going right because i'm which i'm not happy with those subjects again i'm preparing with that so i felt ki 
maybe this is not my thing to continue with because i'm totally not into this and what i have understood is by looking at the previous question papers of the exam or the pattern how they uh, give the weightage for every subject and they ask the questions in the interview i just felt ki i will just fake i think so i can't be real by myself because i don't have climate knowledge climate change ka weather all these questions also will be asked in this interview because when you are from hyderabad or telangana they can ask you these questions also ki telangana ka tell uh, mm. because it's an uh, administrative ias ka when i'm talking about at central level they can ask me about the whole india yeah right so i was like i'm unaware of all those things i will prepare maybe but that is only for my preparation but i will not have the real knowledge in that so thereafter i felt maybe i have to go along get along with something else which i am very much interested into where i can put my 100% not in the ia so i think so this is a very short long story <laughs> for leaving the ia part and coming to this track where you can see me as priya ma'am ma'am as you said ki your parents didn't like pressure you much on which course to choose uh, what do you think like can you like share some tips to parents so that they could encourage their sure. children to study at home yeah so firstly uh, definitely one thing i love about this generation right now is as i said uh, in what do you mean by this generation from where it starts <laughs> gen z or millennial uh, because i definitely feel ki some kind of decade gap i have with right now like i completed my studies like in 2015 pg ho gaya so it's been 8 years right now so i just feel uh, ki coming up this uh, people have a great change in the choosing their subjects choosing their course i see still now the people like parents are there, who will tell that you have to get get into this college only get in this course only still parents will tell because i will never point out ki parents are wrong in that also because they have seen a more life than you more experience than you so they never want you to get confused or get along just because mera friend le raha hai so i will also mm. take some kids will get confused like this baad mein they will understand no i am not happy with this course so parents will try to put you in the right track but what i suggest is ki uh, like being parent first you understand what your children interest are into like what they want to become what they are see schooling so you are seeing them mm-hmm. schooling mein to itne sare ptms to attend kare honge to parents will have some kind of idea ki okay some teachers will be giving them see, because that's... no teacher will tell all the negatives only about the uh, student right they will be yeah. telling the positives ki where they are very good at so try to identify that talk to them first basic thing what i feel is talking to the kids because nowadays i feel parents are working both father and even my parents were working so uh, they used to have less time definitely to talk to me uh, and i used to more talk to with my aunt i can say because i used to stay with her more than my parents so i feel ki first you talk with your uh, children i don't tell ki you leave your job and sit with them definitely not you need to have your own things but give time to them once you give time because every time we tell this giving time is only something the precious you can give to anyone so when you are giving time no definitely they will come up with their thoughts ki ha i don't want to do this papa i don't want to do this mama they will tell open up when you don't give them time no you'll just come and talk ki i take this course or this college is good it seems or they will try to pressurize with the things that okay my friend suggested that his daughter or her daughter is in some college so you go True. it's all good to have the knowledge getting from others taking the opinions from others but try to talk to your kids is the only thing i can tell that talking is very mm-hmm. important but how do you differentiate between a wrong and a right decision first of all i feel ki what is good for you what is again i'm using not using right and wrong word here i'm telling good and bad here good and because bad. like one thing i want to share here when i was in this coaching of my ias there used to be one sir who taught us uh, who taught the um, geography okay his name is ratna sir i guess yeah he used to be 82 years old and he used to come to our class to take up he comes also he can't even walk properly there is to be one person to make him stand on the stage and then he used to take up the session mm-hmm. mike also someone should come and arrange him that age obviously you can find he told one day ki everybody will tell how you wrote your examines are good re i wrote well this is what you give answers mm-hmm. but there is always a difference between a good answer and a right answer good answer is something maybe you are not you are writing what is what you know perfectly some students will tell no ma'am i wrote the answer what i know mm-hmm. you gave some question That's but right. i wrote something that is a good answer because you know very good about it very good grip you have over that answer you will write it but it is not a right answer because question is something else something which has been asked so when you when you come to your asking me about right decision and wrong decision what i say is try to first know that you should not never regret later that kind of a decision you should take i know sometimes you will take and regret later but what i feel is 
when you are uh, when you know that you are capable of see when you are when i look at some pilot or something i will feel even i can would have become that but when you are not capable of it when you don't have that capability dreaming anyone can do right anything you can dream about i want to become something but when you look up to something when you look up to a celebrity also you'll feel ki are chalo kitna inko bhav milta hai but we can't be in that life because we are not interested first of all we like to see hmm. but we can't be them because yeah. we don't have that capability of being like that so what i feel is take a good decision than the right decision is feel kyunki what is good for you only you can decide what is like you should not regret later what you have taken that kind of a decision you can only take when you know about yourself well so here is one thing i can tell ki yoga will definitely help us to know about ourselves <laughs> so maybe that's that help in taking a good decision ma'am i heard that you're not doing yoga anymore i'm not teaching yoga anymore i can okay. say rather you than not doing, doing it, it because um, uh, okay i take up the certificate course in the college yoga but uh there also i feel one thing uh because online offline this is what the change we got after covid right so many people are interested to go for online abhi to kyunki they want to sit at home and learn everything so in that scenario where i am not interested to take any online sessions anymore mm-hmm. and offline is being little impossible for me with my work timings so right now i'm not taking any classes i can say rather i can say i'm not doing yoga mm-hmm. i do work for myself but not with others Um, who is your mentor when it comes to taking decision of about life about any step definitely me because i have become teacher means you can understand that it's me i Don't can tell parents. very proudly that you can only become a teacher when you like to become no one can force you to become a teacher like i said engineering koi parents force kar sakte doctor ke liye koi parents force kar sakte actor ke liye even एनी वन कैन फोर्स यू बट टीचर के लिए नो वन विल फोर्स यू की बेटा टीचर बन जा टीचर बन जा कोई कौन बोलेगा नो वन विल टेल यू ओनली यू कैन बिकम बिकॉज ऑफ योर इंटरेस्ट की यू लाइक टीचिंग देन ऑल यू गेट इन टू दिस हो इंस्पायर यू टू बिकम अ टीचर इंस्पिरेशन से भी आई कैन टेल बिकॉज इंस्पिरेशन मीन्स आई कैन टेल दैट आई वुड हैव बिकम वेरी प्रायरली विदाउट टेकिंग दिस कोचिंग ऑफ आई एस एंड ऑल दैट आई वुड हैव बिकम बिफोर दैट बट uh to be very frank i started first teaching career in yoga i can say rather in the academics because after i finished my coaching in ias later i was trying for my groups exam i was preparing for that even like i have uh, after my pg i was into two years with my preparations only till mm-hmm. 2017 i guess then after i felt one skill i have because i started doing yoga since 2014 mm-hmm. so i felt when i know something i should teach someone that then only it will be good for me also and to teach someone else also and never teach anything for free definitely <laughs> so then after first time i started teaching yoga at my colony uh, okay. where i used to teach all the ladies only in my clubhouse so there i started my yoga training uh, like career i can tell then after uh, where i did my mcom stanley college wahan se i got a opportunity that there is a vacancy for lecturer post and you can try because my hod ma'am used to encourage me always actually once i finished my mcom also she asked me are you interested in teaching that time though i was like clear that i want to prepare and she knows that i was preparing for exam so she also didn't force me much she mm-hmm. was like if you are interested you can be in teaching because i know my experience that when i was doing my mcom only i did invigilation for a government exam which will be conducted on sundays that is my first pay i can tell being a oh, invigilator she called us अरे इन्विजलेशन का ड्यूटी करेंगे क्या कम संडे एग्जाम वी हैव सम गवर्नमेंट एग्जाम इन द कॉलेज सेंटर गिरा है तो कम कम सो मी एंड माय फ्रेंड वेंट दैट वाज जोश की ऑल ओल्ड पीपल विल कॉल अस मैम 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 देयर बिकॉज ऑब्वियसली लिटिल बिट एल्डर देन यू ओनली फॉर राइटिंग दोज एग्जाम्स सो we were like excited okay okay we'll come so that day i was feeling ki that priya ma'am name now i'm hearing like anywhere that time i used to hear uh, like for the first time ki oh, someone is calling me ma'am wow nice so that's the first pay i got through the invigilation i can tell so inspiration se bhi zyada i can tell somewhere what i know i started doing that mm-hmm. that is yoga i know so i started teaching that mm-hmm. later when i got this chance i thought why not i can try the academics also because i have done my mcom and uh, i was good at my studies and always so and always i used to love talking explaining because i used to explain my friends also somewhere i felt maybe i can explain i can handle some kind of 50 to 60 students in the class of course my voice will reach to them and all that so all these things made me feel ki let me take up this job and see how can i do it and right now i'm here with the uh, 6 years of experience in teaching yeah we all have the moment of stress 
even mm. you have you have mm. a very busy schedule each and every day <laughs> yeah, on Saturday basically it is you have more than like till okay. 8 pm mm. so my question is how do you balance your stress like your life your schooling or like your like your uh, musty time your movie time everything how you managing are you managing <laughs> okay uh, i'm a good manager first of all i feel uh, okay see few things definitely which you wish to do and which you have in your mind many things you can't do definitely you can't do all the things what you have in your mind kya ye karenge wo karenge and whenever we plan like that we will not do anything that Good something thing. else only will happen yeah. but how i manage first of all that's the what i think i can tell is being a teacher one good advantage is what i feel you have some time for yourself also yeah we have 24 by 7 we will be uh, available to our students and all that when they have some kind of concerns to ask they can call up us all that we have but still now as you know the college timing is 9:30 to 4:30 so maybe after that the time is mine right after going home i can do something for myself i can read a book what i like or i can teach yoga as i said or anything else i can do so i never leave a chance so weekends this words are not in my life definitely i can tell uh, my dictionary is very <laughs> very well designed dictionary i have where i don't use this words of weekend pe enjoy karenge or uh, night life all this kind of i'm a very day person first of all as i'm a yoga person i can tell i'm a very day person so my days are very long than my nights okay so when day is long you have a lot of things to do in your life and how i manage because i keep my time for whatever i have to do i will never overbook myself or i will not pressurize myself ki you have to do this priya today only ha wo rehta hai ki deadline something kind of you have to put mm-hmm. yourself because when you don't put a deadline no you will become very lazy also but still for enjoying some things it will be very instant decisions i take if i want to watch a movie i just book a, i book a ticket and i'll go and watch a movie and come back if i'm alone like i watch like a lot of movies i love watching alone okay so that any when you have plans with yourself so you can do any time mm-hmm. very instantly kyunki yes. hyderabadis we know our friends ko if you call them no they'll come after like 1 o'clock ka show bola to they'll come at 3 o'clock <laughs> so uh, sometimes i feel like better being alone going alone is fine than accompanying so many people and going because when they don't come on time no my blood will really boil at that time because that is what <laughs> teacher quality i have teacher thinks that is ki punctual being punctual on time so managing se bhi zyada i can tell that instantly i take a lot of decisions i will never plan something instantly what i feel what i come with any idea i'll try to implement if it is working fine if it is not working i'll go for the other thing i will not waste much time on that ki i should why ra ye kyun nahi ho raha ye kyun nahi ho raha i don't waste time on that i'll do immediately other things so they can wala ko lagega ki ha so many things she is doing hmm. i am not doing so many things also that also is there which people doesn't know people only see what i am doing right but there are many things which i am right now not doing i am not able to do actually so it's all about what you see and what you tell right now what i am telling only you people will know so aur kuch ho sakta hai mere dimag mein ma'am why did you start story telling in the book store like oh yeah okay, okay. 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 Yeah, oh yeah oh yeah the main thing but to see connection <laughs> want to know ha huh. uh, firstly to i never used to like kids first of all kyunki kids se mereko hamesha ye lagta tha ek to they irritate a lot uh, irritated in the sense uh, uh, i see a lot of jumping they won't listen to you Not they won't sit at one place you have to run around them yeah you will be active if you do that but still when you want to be calm sit no they will shout they will scream or they'll do some kind of an activity for some time you will love it you will smile with them you will also laugh ki are kitna cute hai अहमदाबाद बैंगलोर चेन्नई कोलकाता एवरी सिटी में दे आर हैविंग द स्टोरी टेलिंग सेशन इन ऑल द क्रॉस वर्ड सो आई जस्ट फेल्ट वाइट इज नॉट है इन हैदराबाद क्योंकि हैदराबाद का दर इज नो वीडियो एट ऑल देन आई फेल्ट लेट मी आस्क दम दैट वॉज अ सिंपल ट्राई आई डिट एज सेट राइट आई इंस्टेंटली आई रिएक्ट फॉर फ्यू थिंग्स आई मैसेज दम इन द इंस्टाग्राम टू देट पेज ओनली सेंग दैट हाई 
uh, I just want to know ki why this storytelling sessions are not happening in Hyderabad. To one of the real, I replied. Uh, okay. to the DM like I did DM then I, fe- I left it also I forgot I bought it because reply will give me a little bit of light next after 24 hours or something I got a reply saying that uh, we don't have any storyteller right now in Hyderabad if we get a storyteller we will definitely love to start in Hyderabad is what the reply I got then I felt okay uh, I want to try I just messaged them this I want to try as a storyteller then immediately within 15-20 minutes I got a reply with a mail ID Saying that, uh, this mail ID ko you can contact mm-hmm. with your details and all that. They will call back you. Well, chalo, we'll be try karenge. They have sent the mail and mail looks very official. Mm-hmm. Kyunki at the rate crossword dot in thou. Mm-hmm. Not Gmail and all that. Okay. So, laga ki something officially, someone is responding right. to my uh-huh. message. Uh-huh. Genuine I felt. Ki koi fake nahi hai ki koi kisi ko bhi mail karne ke liye. And mail is something you always feel professional only. Kyunki number ko WhatsApp karne ke liye, they didn't tell me. Mm-hmm. If it is WhatsApp number, I would have thought ki kiska number hai, why should I message? But it was a mail. Uh, so, I did a mail to that ID and I gave me all my details uh, with uh, what I am doing right now. And lastly, I ended up with my contact number. Mm. And after two days, I got a call. Ki, Hi, this is uh, so and so from Crossword Delhi. And I just read your mail. Uh, so, uh, are you a storyteller before? I was like, definitely, I'm not a storyteller. Ha, stories so I say bolte rehte hai, but <laughs> I'm not an actual story storyteller. Uh, kind of, I'm an assistant professor. Whatever I gave you in the mail details, I'm working as an assistant professor in a college. Yeah, I deal with kids because I taught yoga to the kids before when I said in the clubhouse when I used to take for aunties ladies no of course apne bachchon ko bhi lega rathe thay mere paas <laughs> so yoga I told him that one line ki when I can handle kids in the yoga class I can handle them anywhere Because yoga is something where kids can't sit for a longer time in a meditation pose or they can't be very calm they'll be talking they'll be jumping but still in yoga they could manage to do because of my instructions means I can even manage them with telling my stories also I felt then he was like uh, uh, that's that's cool Priya but uh, we definitely need an audition audition in the sense you just record a video of max two minutes that think that in front there are kids and you are telling them a story you record by yourself and send it to us and then I'll get you back. I was like, okay, fine, chalo. Uh, and of course, my story didn't end up in two minutes. I recorded the video for some around four minutes, 50 seconds. And I uh, put it in a Google Drive and I mailed them. And that after two days, I got a call saying that, yes, you are the storyteller for our Hyderabad branch. Now his question was, Ki, which branch you want to go for it? Like you want to go for this? Uh, because we have crossword in three stores right now. That is Nexus Mall, in orbit, and uh, GVK. Mm-hmm. So my choice was going for Nexus because it's a little fast. But uh, he was like, uh, and they are from Delhi, right? So they know Hyderabad, Buddha, Cyberabad, Madhapur, Jubilees, Banjaral. This is the only areas they know. Okay. <laughs> they doesn't know this key Nexus Mall, Kukkad Pali. This word only will not be so familiar for them to talk and pronounce. I was like, he was like immediately, just give me five minutes free. And within five minutes, he told me that we want to start in in orbit. Because they feeling that high five bache, high five log wahan pe aayenge, mm-hmm. high tech city pe. So please. Then I felt, I only asked for this. Okay, it's me who poked them. Why is Hyderabad not happening in Hyderabad? Now I'm putting conditions. And I'm not a very known storyteller. Ki they will demand that yes, Priya is asking next small, so we'll start at next small. So I need to understand their point of view also. So I was immediately like, no, no, uh, we are doing it in orbit. So from then, from June month, we started this journey with all the kids. Mm-hmm. And now I really started loving the kids because I see, I feel obviously the world is very very like very very big world we, we tell sometimes situations mein ki dunia bahut choti hai, but I feel it's a very big world kyunki whatever you see it's not the only thing you can judge about you have to think about other side which you don't know like I got to know with these sessions that there are kids who at the age of 3-4 years they know how to read they how know how to pronounce such a perfect English with any kind of author writing. It's not about only particularly they want to read a simple English or something like that. Any book, kuch bhi book nikal ke do, they can read it very good. Mm-hmm. Then I felt, okay, at this age also there are kids who are uh, who know the stories. I can tell you a small example. One girl who is three years old, okay? She was reading a book, sitting like beside me. Her mom came and told me, let's go, let's go, I'll buy this book for you. She was immediately like, no mama, don't buy this book. Why you want to waste the money? I'll finish the book here only, mm-hmm. then we'll go. Smart. So just give me one, like just you give me 30 minutes of the time and finish this book. 
see that book was not like something uh, uh, long story and yeah. it was like pictorial pictures wala book tha but it may finish definitely in half an hour i was like okay. Okay. See, in that that she knows not to waste the money also. Okay, that, that girl got that idea ki ghar jane ke baad, one time you'll read that book. Who will read again that book? Hmm. It's one time only. So why to waste the money is the thought she got in that age. And you don't believe in 30 minutes she finished that book also. I was testing her ki whether she really read that book and she told me the whole story what she read. Then I was like, wow. So then I understood ki you have to see other side also and that other side I got to see because of the storytelling sessions. Now, why is there is being a gap in book reading like our generation we mm. always go for visuals more than books why is happening how one can get connected with books again uh, but one thing i can tell you here uh, rohit uh, things are like i see there are people who are reading books also mm. that's what i'm saying ki i i used to feel that only ki aajkal ke bachche to all video games uh, they want to talk and all that instagram whatever whatever but nobody is interested in books but i uh, but i see there are lot of people that's what i'm saying when you look up to this bookstores when you go no you'll mm. understand ki there are like hundreds of hundreds of people who will be coming and buying the books means there are readers also but yes how you get the habit of reading I always tell ki reading is something which is little boring only always kyunki until and unless it uh, gives you a kind of interesting concept or something you will not feel like reading yeah. but what i feel is reading is something which will definitely increase your imaginary skills also imagination because when you read it you will instantly imagine like i can tell two states is the first book i read in my life many of us know two states is a movie also but you don't believe after i watched that movie i didn't like that movie because when i read that book my imagination was far 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 better than that movie that's why i didn't like that movie sabko jo normally dekhe honge unko movie achhi lagi even i don't tell it's a bad movie it is a good movie but it didn't reach up to my imagination is what i felt because my imagination was something else when i was reading the chapters when i was reading the emotions between uh, this uh, hero and the heroine whatever the emotions was there my imagination was something else so what i feel is the people who are not completely like not at all reading habit kisi ko nahi hai they don't know what books to read and all that first start with any kind of story books only i tell don't go for this autobiography and all that there are a lot of books and ravi subramanian ke books i always prefer because i used to give to my students also as a gift when i was working in stanley whoever gives seminar well no i used to give those books uh, as a gift jisko padhne ki habit hai but i used to tell ki ravi subramanian books will be so good that it will create uh, you will get a general knowledge also and you will get how to imagine through that story also for example i can tell the book he has written about don't tell governor is the title of the book that book is all about demonetization of course demonetization hua hai sabko malum but in detail we don't know what it is all about right and you don't want to know also sometimes sare ho gaya so ho gaya abhi to 1000 rupaye nahi hai na 500 purana note hai what else we want to know but when you read that book it is written as a story and you are getting to know about the information about that ki kya hua tha that year in demonetization decision who was involved who was not involved kind of general awareness you will get so i always tell that people go for that kind of a stories kyunki love stories and all the fine kyunki people will judge very easily those kind of books ko love stories if you read they will judge very easily ki ha ah, aisa books mein acha hota okay ma'am so what are your some of the like most rewarding movements that you have experienced as a teacher because we all know that you are everyone's favorite I'm not being partial to other teachers also, <laughs> but yeah, we all know it. Okay, so definitely I know why I'm being so f- uh, like favorite to everyone. But definitely I'm very approachable. I no, feel. Why are yeah. you favorite to everybody? What's the reason? <laughs> I know no, we no. should know the reason right yeah. yeah one thing i can tell about myself okay not being so much like i know about myself kind of but still i can tell that i am being like i will be very approachable ki people can come and talk very easily i will never judge for anything if they come and tell me that's why students can come up with telling many things their personal things whatever they want to share with me up and what is the rewarding thing is definitely this is the one where i am listening the title that everyone's favorite because i always feel uh, one best moment i can tell is mai kahin bhi jaun there will be a lot people who will be surrounding kahin bhi jaun hi ma'am hi priya ma'am this is what i hear <laughs> i tell you very recent incident while like in the month of june i went to tirupati yeah. uh, jab mai flight board karne wali thi abhi flight chad rahi thi wahan pe and the person who will be checking our boarding pass right and he's my student 
like this college student not my department also okay. he was like are ma'am of tirupati jara i was like my mom my mom was like yahan kon tere ko ma'am bula raha hai i was also surprised who is calling me a ma'am then i was like ha huh, hi but to my very bad if he see this interview later no he will get <laughs> like very bad feel that mujhe ab tak uska naam yaad nahi aa raha ki who which student i just remember ki is 2020 passed out batch student but i don't remember ki with what is his name mm-hmm. but i felt so good ki are kahin bhi jao uh, not only in ki kompali alwal area wherever i go i see people whenever i go to my storytelling also i'll see our students there are hi ma'am how are you they'll come up and tell me so wait, this is a very uh, like this is the, like most uh, like a big award i feel ki kahin bhi jao they recognize they come to me and they talk to me that is what i best thing i feel मैं आपको सुनते सुनते मैं क्वेश्चन ही भूल गया ओके होता है हाँ मैम मैंने सबसे सुना कि किसी ने भी प्रिया मैम को गुस्से में कभी नहीं देखा हमें रहता है गुस्से वाला बट वाई लाइक आई एम हियरिंग दिस कि मैम को कभी गुस्से में ही नहीं देखा लाइक आई जस्ट बिफोर आई सेट कि आई बिकॉज I and see I'm also a human being I will not tell camera saint ki mujhe gussa hi nahi aata main bahut shant rehti hu but uh, one incident I can tell see that's what your parents and how you how they tell you when you do something wrong like when I was uh, in 10th or something mujhe aise gussa aaya tha and jaise remote tv ka remote I just like uh, gira diya niche I don't believe it broke completely it broke and that was a new tv we have purchased like a month back and my dad didn't scold me my mom was so like like shouting at me ki you don't know how to put the things what is this way of because i literally maine galti se bhi nahi gira wo literally i did because i was angry something happened i don't remember exactly I just made it like fall so my dad made me sit and tell ki chalo theek hai tere ko gussa aaya you felt like kuch to girana hai and you did that later now you want to watch tv what do you want to do tv pe rehte rahe but uh, that is like a straining thing right uh, you don't like to do that no yeah मजबूरी में यू हैव टू गो एंड डू बिकॉज यू वॉन्ट टू वॉच टीवी एंड रिमोट तुमने तोड़ा है तो यू हैव टू गो सिट देर एंड चेंज योर चैनल फॉर समथिंग सो हु किसका लॉस हुआ इससे किसी और का घर पे जाकर तोड़ सकते क्या वो तो नहीं कहा तो अपने को तोड़ देंगे देन आई अंडरस्टूड की येस इन एंगर वी डू मेनी थिंग्स विच विल हर्ट अर्स ओनली लेटर की वी विल ओनली फील बैड की गुस्से में कपड़े नीचे गिरा देंगे बाद में कपड़े कौन से देगा वी शुड डू इट कुछ भी करो गुस्से में यू हैव टू रिपल्ट ऑन दैट so that is the one thing i remember till now that's the reason i never get angry very easily until and unless kuch zyada hi bada hai and i feel like ye kya ho raha hai and why these people are like this obviously mujhe gussa insano pe aata hai not in on any other things i get angry and last one gussa ka woh thi very much angry so much it's been long very much How angry long it's been kind of some one two months i guess okay so hoga what was the reason Ha uh, like like I said no when people won't come on time this is what I feel very like are tum logo ko itna common sense nahi rehta 10:30 ko milne ka plan banaya you can come at 10:25 also why 10:30 ke baad hi aane ka kya rule rahega this is very but yeah this anger also what I'm sharing with you is ki mujhe aaya tha lekin maine usse bataya nahi ki main share nahi kiya mm-hmm. few things that's what I'm saying in anger you will even lose some relations also kyunki gusse mein I will scold my friend or someone they will feel bad kyunki they might have some जेन्यून रीजन फॉर कमिंग लेट वो बोल नहीं पाते क्योंकि मैं उनको पहले गुस्से में झाड़ दूंगी कि यू डोंट हैव टाइम सेंस यू ऑलवेज कम लेट ब्ला ब्ला दे डोंट फील लाइक टेलिंग मी द एक्चुअल रीजन की वाई दे हैव कम लेट सो बेटर नॉट टू लूज दैट थिंग्स ऑल्सो आई मेंटेन इट आई लिजन टू देर आंसर आंसर अगर सिल्ली निकला देन माई एंगर विल कम आउट कि हाँ यू डोंट हैव कॉमन सेंस देन आई विल आई शाउट आई विल स्क्रीम और वॉट एवर no who is your favorite student as of now <laughs> from lol academy if this answer i will tell no ho gaya favorite ma'am ja ke ah priya ma'am i don't know who is this ma'am <laughs> kind of seriously all my students are definitely my favorites okay right now i can tell these two are my favorites yeah. because they are making me revive all those things which i have like forgotten but i will tell i will never forget but i will to share again things so ma'am a few words about manvi Manvi okay she's a very wonderful like expressive girl i feel because you all know that she is a good dancer but dancer me what always i feel is not that you are doing steps correctly you are not forgetting the steps is what i see i always see ki how expressive you are mm. how you enjoy your song that i always see because i have judged a program conducted by mass communication department uh, i think film festival jo last semester mm. they had in that she was performing rekha's rekha. song and obviously rekha ka song is kya hai aap 
रेखा सॉन्ग ओनली विल फील ऑलवेज टू थिंक अबाउट हर एक्सप्रेशन हर वे ऑफ शोइंग इट एवरी टाइम बट टू बी वेरी फ्रेंक दैट टाइम मे बी आई बिकम फैन ऑफ हर लाइक हर एक्सप्रेशन वर टू 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 गुड आई ऑलवेज लव पीपल टॉकिंग विथ लॉट ऑफ एक्सप्रेशन लोग समझते कि क्या ओवर एक्शन है ये ज्यादा ओवर मतलब इतने हाव भाव से क्यों बात करते हैं लोग सोचते हैं बट दैट इज अ वेरी गुड क्वालिटी इन ए पर्सन आई फील बिकॉज ऐसे डेड बॉडी की तरफ बैठ के बात करने से तो लगता है कि वेरी फंक्शनिंग यू आर बट वेन यू टॉक विथ वेरी मच एक्सप्रेसिव नो इट फील्स लाइक यू आर कनेक्टेड टू द ऑपोजिट पर्सन एंड यू आर एबल टू मेक दम अटेंटिव टू योर टॉक ऑल्सो क्योंकि अगर तुम लोग नॉर्मली ऐसे बात करेंगे तो नो वन मे रेगिव अटेंशन टू किसी को सुनना तो पसंद नहीं है लाइफ में फील लाइक मनमोहन सिंह but he's a very good uh, th- that is what uh, people who are good having good knowledge sometimes they are not good communicators right yes. so i love that about her manvi and of course she's a very cute girl also i saw the first picture like you and manvi she, and in that picture she is super nervous she is like i was performing in resonance ah uh, okay okay yeah, yeah 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 she shared that picture uh, with me ki ma'am see th- two years back this picture i was like oh yeah i was very slim that time not like this <laughs> okay. still look pretty ma'am i know i know I, that this is what I love. What about myself? Ki see, everything is in our control only. You want to uh, diet, you can control. You can mm. control. If you can't control, you can't control. Yeah, It's sure. all about in your hands. If you can become slim, you can become slim. If you want to eat, eat, eat only eat. You can do that also and enjoy. So I feel I'm happy in this phase like this. Maybe later on, if I feel like I want to lose weight, I'll do that also. Not a problem. Well, this question has been. is the most repeated ones ma'am. i guess i'm, I'm guessing i'm guessing okay you could <laughs> when are you getting married ma oh shaadi shaadi okay yeah yeah this question is not only from you all from my relatives kahin se to bhi kahin bhi koi bhi puchega ha ha to shaadi kyun nahi si first of all i don't consider age wise ki age mein shaadi ho jani chahiye hmm. yeah I will not tell you who are getting married at 24, 25 is wrong. Definitely, it's their choice, and maybe good because if you get married at that age, you will see a less gap between you and your kids also. If you plan the kids soon and all that, because that is also a good phase when you also grow very nicely with them. If there is a lot of gap, then definitely you will have a thought of that. They will also be very old. They will think that my mom will not understand anything because she is like far generation back. Mm. So, it happens, but. शादी समथिंग वॉट आई फील इज की टिल यू गेट सी राइट गई रॉन्ग गई ऐसा तो कुछ होता नहीं है बट मे बी आई हैव टू गेट दैट कनेक्शन विद सम वन दैट आई कैन लीड अ लाइफ फॉर अ लाइफ लॉन्ग ये कोई ऐसा नहीं है कि आजकल के जो हो रहे हैं शादियाँ कि दे विल डू विद सो मच ऑफ हंगामा एंड ऑल लेटर ऑन दे विल गेट लाइक सेपरेटेड सो दिस इज ऑल लाइक मेक मी फील लाइक टेक योर ओन टाइम टेक टाइम एंड यू आर रेडी and the opposite person so you get that connection and then get married is all time uh, like advice i can give to you people also aisa koi jaldi nahi hai shaadi karne ke liye to mom do you have any career plan after lola academy apart from being in lola uh definitely i have like many thoughts in my mind like uh, uh i am like i qualified my law set exam recently so i want to do my law yes yeah i good. just i qualified my law set in the month of मे जून जून में रिजल्ट आया था तो आई वॉन्ट टू परस्यू माई लॉ ऑल्सो क्योंकि ऐसे जाति रत्न वाले मूवी में हो गए कि बेल इच एंड सर बेल इच एंड दिस काइंड ऑफ आई वॉन्ट टू टेल यू है क्योंकि लॉ इज समथिंग गुड सब्जेक्ट वेर यू कैन टॉक टू अ पर्सन लाइक दिस what you know you can be behind the bars if you talk that confidence i want obviously i will talk mujhe pata bhi nahi hai to sections and all that i will talk something but when you know something constitution wise ki this is mm. what is right and wrong with more confidence i can talk to a person not that i want to become a lawyer or something but with this knowledge you can easily understand what is happening and how the things can be dealt when you see the societal things and all no you will feel mm. uh, maybe and i love i when i started watching the series also some kind of where hero will be playing the role of a lawyer and all aajkal mai wo type of series also i'm watching so my favorite movie would be jai bhim uh, like uh, acted by the surya surya tamil that movie is uh, like amazing so mm. that is all influence to become that yeah Mom, while traveling, how many states did you cover till now? Uh, um, Have you been? I'm to be very frank. I'm not a very like a very traveling person. Definitely not. I travel in Hyderabad. Anywhere I want, I will go. State wise. Ha, huh, state wise, so okay, okay. Let me count. Okay, of course, Andhra Pradesh, yeah. uh, Kerala, okay. Karnataka. So Delhi, I went. Rajasthan, I went. 
um gujarat no gujarat also didn't go okay these are the only states i have covered so far which is your favorite state i could say kerala yeah, yeah, definitely missed maharashtra is mumbai oh sorry sorry recently oh last year december i went to yeah, maharashtra also so favorite would be like kerala kerala maybe i loved lp because this boat house feel uh, that is something i know we can't live forever there also wahin pe bhi pani mein nahi reh sakte apan but that uh, time what i spent there was always like memorable to me and i love that yeah but you mentioned you have interest in politics mm-hmm, yeah what are your thoughts about bihar when it comes to like uh, political wise educational wise system wise inf- inf- infrastructure wise okay yeah okay so what do you think about bihar why he is proving himself as bihari only in talking ki jo katna hai woh kata hai infrastructure infrastructure good good yes. now being teacher so Uh, see i first of all i am i am interested into politics but i am not a political person to make a statement that the state has to do this the state has to do that and all from being a citizen of india. yeah definitely being a citizen of india i feel uh, to be very frank i'll tell you bihar bolte logon ko impression yahi hoga ki uh, maybe illiteracy hoga people are like unhygienic mm-hmm. to be very frank these are the impressions are there definitely kyunki uh, and uh, they have the habit of uh, having this pan and all that right so but what i feel from bihar what i love is when they talk right when they talk wo apna pan will be never i feel in any other person like uh, i am being a north indian because i am a rajput but still i am a very south based person because mai bachpan se pali badi in hyderabad only so North City से never had that connection. I used to only travel because I go to some place to see something as a tourist. I go, not like I'm going and settling somewhere. But definitely, when I get talk to these people of Bihar state or Maharashtra ho, Gujarat, Rajasthan ho, I feel that closeness and that cuteness in them when they talk. Definitely, one of them is our Sanskari only. No, seriously, I don't know when I started talking to him that you are from Bihar. Definitely, I was not having an idea. But when I got to know, immediately I, my feeling was that yeah, this is correct. लेकिन फ्रॉम बिहार बिकॉज वो अपनापन होता है एंड वेन यू टॉक समथिंग आई फील दैट यू ओन इट यू डोंट फेक इट और समथिंग यू ओन इट आई विल टेल कि हर स्टेट में होते हैं ऐसे ऐसा नहीं है कि सिर्फ एक ही जगह से यू विल फील दैट देर विल बी people who are talking like this or not talking like this but bihar se to i feel so positivity in that way ki they talk with a very owning the things like logon ko ha you are like hum apne apne hain kind of talk mein they will do this this is very good now see i am not from bihar or something but still when i talk to him i feel like we are like family only we are talking like ah, i know him from so long or he know but to be very frank when he was in first year i don't even know who is rohit okay <laughs> Yeah, 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 definitely I don't know. But uh, when I got to know, I really felt so. I always feel that her state may one thing to be done. That the role of education plays a very vital role. Because because when you start getting educated, mm-hmm. you start knowing many things. That what is right, what is wrong. This is the difference I feel. Normally, how we tell the difference between humans and animals. That animals have no brain, but humans have a brain. This is the major difference we mm-hmm. tell about. You can express which animals can't. Mm-hmm. animals also can in it other way mm-hmm. but yours is something communicative way may you can express so what i feel literate illiterate could be can differentiate only when you know what is right and wrong that is what the education plays a vital role so every state i should feel ki they should have this education system very proper and definitely i would tell being a citizen of india ki mm-hmm. we can't give importance to only one two states or something but every state may it has to be implemented their free education system ho ya kuch bhi ho but लोगों को भी वो अवेयरनेस होना चाहिए कि हमको पढ़ना है पढ़ाना भी है एंड वी ऑल नो कि एजुकेशन को देर इज नो एज यू कैन रीड स्टार लर्न थिंग्स एनी टाइम यू वांट सो पीपल शुड स्टार्ट लर्निंग एट वॉट एवर एज दे आर मैम यू परसुइंग योर लॉ इन दिस एज मैन ऑडियंस वॉन्ट टू नो योर एज ओके आई एम वेरी हैप्पी टू टेल एम ट्वेंटी नाइन ईयर्स अभी थर्टी नहीं हुए हैं तो ट्वेंटी नाइन so in hardly i'll just count down my birthday month also right eight months to go so eight months ma i will be completing 30 yeah five plus i'm 1994 born simple uh, 2023 hai na 2024 mein it will be i will 11 may acha okay okay right right yeah so yeah ma'am uh, what changes do you think are needed to improve the education system today in india 
एजुकेशन सिस्टम इज ऑल लाइक आई फील दैट इज ग्रोइंग वेरी रैपिडली लाइक बिकॉज आई से सेट कि अभी ऑप्शन इतने सारे स्टूडेंट्स ऑल्सो गेट टू नो एंड इवन गवर्नमेंट इज ऑल्सो प्रोवाइडिंग सो मेनी थिंग्स टू द स्टूडेंट्स रिगार्डिंग लाइक अ टी हब वी हब वॉट ऑल वी आर गेटिंग राइट नो इन अवर स्टेट एवरी थिंग इज मेकिंग अस टू नो कि अरे वाई आर वी स्ट्रक विद दिस थिंग्स ओनली वी कैन गो टू दिस थिंग्स ऑल्सो इवन पेरेंट्स आर एंकरेजिंग देयर किड्स दैट they want to go for this being an entrepreneur or being a, any kind of a person you can definitely go to that role so i definitely would tell ki it's growing but yeah it has to because india is only still growing we can tell ki education system also should be growing 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 uh ma'am we have short of uh, rapid fire questions okay okay sure okay. Mm-hmm. get ready yourself we will start firing only but right now i feel uh, ma'am your favorite movie right now uh, okay <laughs> this is very tricky okay uh hum aapke hai kaun series series mein family man hmm favorite actor nani and why he is very like natural star to name is only given but he is very like like i said abhi bihari logon ke liye na ki apna dikhta hai wo aisa lagta hai ki he is like totally like us and he is hmm. very very good with his acting and favorite book Right now, my favorite book will be Ravi Subramanian. Ka there is a best seller she wrote hmm. in that book. Ma'am, what is your beauty secret? Like you still <laughs> look so young. I'm telling you, ma'am. Ah, uh, first of all, right now, so you can see cream on my face. No, so, it's not visible. <laughs> Very honest. <laughs> so okay. Ah, uh, there one thing I can tell. Uh, see, this I will give celebrity ke types. Me answer right. Karungi ki be happy from inside. That will be shown so on your bad. face. But it is true. That is what I will tell because. सी बींग हैप्पी फ्रॉम इन साइड मीन्स कोई अंदर से आवाज तो नहीं आएगी उसका हाजिर निकालने के लिए बट बींग जेन्यून ओके ओके सम थिंग्स यू विल फेल सम थिंग्स यू आर नॉट हैप्पी अबाउट सम थिंग्स यू आर लाइक अरे क्या हो रहा सो ऑल रोटीन सुबह उठो जाओ शाम को आओ खाओ पियो सो दिस इज वॉट द रोटीन यू विल फील वेरी लेजी यू विल फील वेरी डीमोटिवेटेड कि अरे वॉट इज दिस रोटीन इज गोइंग ऑन बट इन दैट रोटीन देर विल बी वन थिंग विच यू हैव टू रिमेंबर That that one thing will definitely make you smile like okay आज का दिन गया है सबसे that is the thing I can tell and not getting angry very much okay don't get angry for unnecessary things uh, like I can tell uh, Arjun Reddy movie में there is anger management zero but I give myself I have like नाइंटी मैनेजमेंट स्किल्स इन द एंगर बिकॉज आई नेवर गेट एंग्री वेरी इजीली इफ आई गॉड एंग्री मीन्स देर विल बी अ वेरी बिग रीजन ओके दैट इज वन थिंग वेर माई मेक माई मेक माई फेस लुक वेरी प्लेजेंट कि आई ओके आई एम वेरी काम राइट नो आई विल नॉट गेट दैट हार्श इमोशंस और वेरी रूड एक्सप्रेशन और रूड टॉक्स वेन यू डोंट डू नो ऑटोमेटिकली यू विल बी वेरी गुड Yes, ma'am. Um, one more thing. Uh, like, what advice would you give to the aspiring teachers who are just starting their careers? This is a very early question to my stage of life because I am only like six years experience. Ah, okay. Is not, huh? What I feel is, first of all, I will be happy that people want to become a teacher because I see uh, nowadays many of uh, like even in my field also when I see my colleagues or something, there are many people who left teaching career and went to some other. Career also, because financially, when there is no stability, no much growth, no, you will definitely want to go for any other field. Definitely, mm. that is something we have to accept. कि वहाँ पे you can't tell कि अरे वाई आर नॉट फॉलोइंग योर फॉलोइंग योर पैशन. You love teaching, right? How can you leave? See, that is what in the life two things will you have to balance. One thing is being happy with your job. Second thing is you should be happy after the job also. Hmm. क्योंकि आई विल टेल वेरी फ्रेंकली मंथली वेन यू सैलरी विल गेट क्रेडिटेड नो यू शुड बी हैप्पी लुकिंग एट दैट अरे पूरा मंथ मैंने कुछ भी किया हो लास्ट आई एम हैप्पी विद दिस बट वेन यू आर नॉट हैप्पी विद दैट नो पूरा महीना हैप्पी रहने पर भी वो एक दिन तो रोएंगे कैसे भी सो वॉट आई फील इज बींग अ टीचर इज डेफिनेटली अ वेरी गुड थिंग यू विल एंजॉय यू विल लव टू इंटरेक्ट विद दिस यंग माइंड ऑलवेज यू विल फील यंग ओनली क्योंकि इफ आई ग्रो अप टू फोर्टी फिफ्टी ईयर्स ऑल्सो आई स्टिल फील यंग ओनली बिकॉज Young and sanskari minds. Ah, okay, yeah, yeah, sanskari. Yeah. <laughs> so definitely, you will have that uh, good vibe with when you are with all these young minds. But, 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 what I tell is keep updating yourself because apne se zada students will be more smarter. Yes. Now, nowadays, so this is what happening. Before that, used to be like teacher only knows everything. Student doesn't know anything. Hmm. Student used to be back of a teacher. Abhi kya, ma'am? I know this already. Ma'am, I know that already. Oh, ma'am, I will read this answer from the Google. This is what I listen always. Exactly. So I. tell teachers you should be running if they are walking you have to run yeah. if they are running imagine where you have to fly only okay. what's your favorite hobby ma'am how be reading books 
reading books some favorite politician <laughs> okay not political party politician as person ah okay definitely no. that is a kuch bhi party ko belong no. karo okay i like ktr ktr okay, yeah. ma'am you should be honest okay mm. your favorite student batch student batch not just students i can tell last year that is 2022 23 sf batch right of course the head boy was from my department <laughs> definitely yeah <laughs> Um, your travel destination? Ha, Paris, Paris. In the Paris. Queue? Okay, actually, I'm planning that 30th birthday. I should celebrate out of India somewhere. Okay. I don't want to be in India. Your favorite subject? Ha, it's always history, actually, which I don't teach right now. But so my favorite subject would be economics. But ma'am, you teach GST as well, right? Yeah, taxation is uh, like very much needed, and taxation is a specialization I did. Mm-hmm. But favorite, I always try to learn and teach is economics because GST is all that I feel that I am far better with it to teach. Economics is something which I have to also learn and teach. So economics. A few words about our honourable Prime Minister Shri Narendra. <laughs> <Dhan, laughs> <laughs> Why this is becoming a very kind of political thing? <laughs> Not actually. Man, okay, nice. I'll I'll tell you only one simple line. Uh, I like his gesture when Isro ka jab ye hua tha Chandrayaan three ka. I like his gesture. when he was uh, doing this flag uh, well, like a chota bachcha he was mm. making so that's the only statement i can give um, can you please say bhai aur behno in hindi uh, oh my god i really Easy. can't ha like, uh, i really can't do this really no not like him i can't act like anyone actually okay, okay. okay. just one strike <laughs> okay mere deshwasi ho something he'll tell in this mere pyare deshwasi ho mam your favorite brand brand okay okay fossil right i'm wearing that watch fossil yeah. iPhone, that's a good iPhone. one watch is i love watches a lot my my sabse zyada zaruri question kya tha why did you buy mm. that star gazer your car suzuki okay maruti suzuki s cross s espresso espresso sorry espresso. why it is sounding like a coffee man espresso नाम है उसका तो ठीक है बट ओनली थिंग वॉट आई लव अबाउट दट कार इज द हाइट ऑफ दट कार डेफिनेटली एंड मारुति इज समथिंग बजट फ्रेंडली वॉज देर डेफिनेटली आई वॉज लुकिंग फॉर अ वेरी बजे बजट फ्रेंडली कार एंड वो वो भी था क्योंकि फर्स्ट कार आई एम गोइंग टू ड्राइव राइट सो आई वॉन्टेड टू मेक श्योर दैट कि मैं ज्यादा मई नहीं लगा रही हूँ कि पता नहीं मैं कहाँ ठोकूंगी उसको लेके सो आई जस्ट थॉट कि आई विल टेक वेरी मिनिमल आफ्टर टू ईयर्स ऑफ माई एक्सपीरियंस इन ड्राइविंग आई गो फॉर समथिंग एल्स कार सो राइट नो माई द हाइट हाइट मैटर्स अलॉट टू मी I'm your favorite teacher when you were a student. Um, uh, when a student, okay, schooling me. There used to be a teacher by name Manjula teacher who used to teach us um, social studies. Mm-hmm. So from her only I started having an interest in history. Actually, later on in my degree, I can tell Sirisha ma'am uh, who taught us like auditing subject and she was very good. In my PG, there are many ma'ams. In PG, what I love about my all the faculty are all were very friendly. Uh, like we used to bunk the class and we used to tell them that we are going for a movie and that time instagram was not that uh, friendly social media account we had we used mm-hmm. to put in facebook check in imax pe ki watching so and so movie and they used to comment on that mm-hmm. ki how is the movie that uh, rapo used to have with our faculty so all the faculty in my pg yeah um one of your student vandana from london she is asking yeah. if you are a superhero okay what power you will like to have Ah, I would like make people sleep early. Wake up soon. Oh my God, that you don't like so people who sleep more. हाँ डेफिनेटली आई वॉन्ट दैट्स वॉट आई एम सिंग स्लीप ऑन टाइम वेक अप ऑन टाइम लोग क्या सोचते हैं अभी एक बजे दो बजे सोए तो क्या कह यू गेट अप एट सिक्स ओ क्लॉक नो यू विल मेक इट लाइक सुबह चांद का सूरज आगे भी चला गया दे विल दे विल वेक अप आराम से दिस इज वॉट आई डोंट लाइक and few words about mr sanskari bachcha okay so i think so in beech mein i have covered few things like uh, state wise i just told about his character but definitely i started having a conversation with him in the beginning like once he started this uh, sanskari talks and before that i just got to know he's a youtuber also he shoots in the college i saw him doing all that activities for, and i was expect I didn't expect that he's from BBA also that time because I didn't expect that he's from School of Management. But later on, I started seeing his interest because I love people who will be asking questions. Because when you ask only, people will also share with you all the things you can't share with the person when you love also. Only you will answer when they ask you questions, and he's the one who can ask the questions. So he loves to do that. So we love to give answers also. So that is the best quality I feel he's doing, and I loved what he did. last year with the last council students all the 
interview or whatever chit chat sessions he had with them that i loved and i know i made give some corrections also being a teacher i can feel but i'm very happy being part of it and i just love her also her voice is so cute actually i can say and thank you ma'am and thank you for the beautiful questions you asked both of you one question is left yes. don't yes. kill me after that who is your favorite colleague in this college <laughs> colleague it's yes. not it's very wrong if i don't put colleagues as there <laughs> because there are like many people know after like looking at my instagram the whole gang we have yeah. kind of there is like kanju shri uh, there is bindu babu hima bindu katha pravin kumar I should tell full name because other person is also saying the name. And Sujith, uh, he's my brother in this college, definitely Sujith and Chitra, Farin, Shruti, all like we are like so much of gang. I can tell. That's it, ma'am. Yeah, thank, thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, ma'am. Loyal Academy Student Council of this academic year is back with our Dandiya Night that is Navdhara and it is happening on October 15th that is Sunday and where it is happening it's happening at Tota Penta Reddy Gardens at Bolara. So I want you people to come to that program and enjoy your festival and I hope you are going to have a lot and lots of fun and definitely I will be there with you all to enjoy even and I am just telling you people that grab your passes when they are open and you are going to follow. Now there are some more updates.